The Alabama NAACP has teamed up with UAB and the Department of Public Health in hopes of encouraging minority communities to get vaccinated. Our Kenesha Dees hears from doctors and scientists on vaccine safety and accessibility. So we've identified nine counties that we're going to make sure that we're focusing on. The Alabama Department of Public Health hoping to vaccinate some of the most vulnerable counties. Infectious disease specialists at UAB say if Alabama continues the pace of vaccination, we could see 150,000 doses administered weekly in the next month. Anything that can get us to a level where we have more protection before things start to open up widely um, is, is just incredibly critical. Some questions include if people who are HIV positive can receive the vaccine. HIV patients, people living with HIV, have been trial participants uh, in, in at least the Moderna and in the uh, Johnson & Johnson, the J&J &J vaccine trial. So it's been tested in them. It's been actually been shown to probably work in those individuals as well, and it's also safe. As far as access to the vaccine, public health officials say doses are available for everyone, including migrants. Officials say the allocation was based on last year's census. Um, some of the vaccinators and some of the sites have taken upon themselves to require ID of people, um, but that's not something that's coming from the state as a whole. That's not required. CVS Pharmacy reached out to the Alabama Department of Public Health, showing that their stores have vaccine available. CVS contacted us today to say that they were not having as many people contacting them as they had vaccine available. I looked online and saw that there were at least 10 CVS stores that carry the vaccine. The closest one in North Alabama and Lawrence County. However, that store is booked. Officials do say to continue to check regularly for vacancies. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha D's WZDX News.